using cheese, little bits of cheese. I like to use cheese because it's soft. It doesn't slow training. Um, if you give them something that's crunchy and big, you have to wait in between your asks because you have to give them a, si a second to chew things. So I like to use little soft stuff like cheese or boiled chicken. Yep. I have Leo at Camp Callahan today. Uh, he's been here this week and he has been very good little student. He came here already knowing lots of things and we are just trying to extend what he knows a little bit. Um, so we're working on stay today. Come. Sit. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. So you'll see that I'm going back to him to give him his reward for each of those nice uh, stays that he was doing rather than, I used to teach stay by saying stay, walking away and saying come or okay. Um, the thing is, if you tr if that, that's pretty hard because then the puppy the whole time he's in his stay is waiting to burst out of his stay and come running to you. This is an easier way for him to do the behavior because all he has to do is sit still and you're gonna come back to him so he doesn't have to sit there thinking when when is it now is it now um, so it makes it easier for him to actually keep his stay if you tell him to stay go away and then you come back to him to reward him once you've got a stay that is incredibly rock-solid you can start doing it the other way too you leave him in a stay you go far away and you call on to you Good. Good. I'm not pushing it. I'm not sure if he's gonna let me go all the way around. So far, he's never been able to keep this stay all the way around. He'll keep it till I get maybe halfway around, but then he pops up. So let's see what he does. Let's see if we've gotten anywhere. Maybe in a down stay. <laughs> yes! And we gotta roll over too. We can Actually, the first time he ever did it without rolling over. Good boy, good boy. Sit. Good. Stay. Yes. Okay, and that was the first time too. Oh my goodness, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. All right.